Another use case of using Copilot for Microsoft 365 and Excel together is to help you create pivot tables. Now, pivot tables are a bit annoying if you haven't used them before. And if someone comes to you and asks you, for example, you know, create pivot table based on this particular data, and you don't know how to do it, well, in that case, you can go ahead and ask Copilot for Microsoft 365 to do it for you. You can even input this particular data into the Copilot, uh, and so that you know it can kind of guide you a lot more well as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So as my prompt over here, let me just type in. I have the following table in Excel from A1 to C37. I want to create a pivot table that shows me the sales with year as column and month as rows. Now, what I can do over here is I can also paste this data into my Copilot for Microsoft 365, right? And then I can even be much more specific. What I can do is I can specify here, Please describe the steps in lots of detail as this is my first time creating the pivot table. So let's go ahead and see what Copilot suggests us, okay? Okay, so based on our prompt and our data, Copilot has suggested these steps over here that you can follow step by step. So let's just go ahead and see how good are these steps, okay? So for example, it says open your Excel workbook with the data you want to analyze. Well, we already have it over here. And then it says, select the range of data for your pivot table. In your case, this should uh, be from A1 to C C37. So from A1 to C37, we have selected the data. Now go on to the Insert tab of uh, the Excel ribbon. So we'll go to Insert tab and click on the Pivot Table button. A dialog box will appear. So click on the Pivot Table button and a dialog box should appear. All right, as this is the latest version, we have certain templates over here. However, in the fourth point, it says in the dialog box, choose where you want uh, the pivot table to be placed. You can place it in the new worksheet or in the existing one, depending on your preference. So let's just go ahead and click on existing sheet, okay? And over here, I will provide the space where I want to see that and click on insert, right? So we have our pivot table available over here. And we have already clicked on okay. And Excel will create blank pivot table and display the pivot table fields pane over here, which it has done. Now, as the sixth step, it says in the pivot table fields pane, drag the ear field to the columns area. So we have this ear field and we drag it to the columns area. So it's pretty good. All right. And uh, this will create the columns label for each year so that we can see. So till now, the instructions have been really good. Okay, drag the month field to the rows area. So we'll drag the month field to the rows area, and this will create the row labels of for each month, which it certainly did. And now we can drag the sales field to the values area. So we can click on sales and we can go to values. All right. And this will aggregate the sales data and display the sum for each month and year, which it certainly did. Okay. Now, as the ninth step, it says adjust the value uh, field settings if necessary. By default, Excel sums up the data, but you can change this to count, average, max, min, etc. All right. So if you want, you can go ahead and still do other steps, but the thing that we wanted is already over here. All right. So by year, by month, and all the sums are available over here. All right. And as a 10th step, it also mentions that you can even go forward and format your pivot table to make it more readable. So you can adjust the design, layout, and formatting options under the pivot table tools, design and analyze tabs on the ribbon. So basically, uh, we can go to pivot tables over here, and then we can choose which formatting option uh, we want. So we can select this and it makes a little bo bit more readable, right? So we have different formattings that we can choose. So we can see that the instructions which were uh, laid down by Copilot are very detailed. And if I'm very new to Pivot Table, it's very easy to follow these instructions and um, you know go ahead and create Pivot Tables based on the data that is required. Now, for example, if someone asks me that I need to add conditional formatting as well, right? So we can go ahead and based on the previous instruction, add some more prompts as well. So let's me just go over here and 
provide one more prompt. So I also want to add in conditional formatting on my pivot table that highlights any cells where the sales is above 90,000. So I want to make it a little more readable because I just want to see any sales which is above 90,000, right? In this case right now, I just have to find it, but if it highlights, it will be much more easier. So let's just go ahead and click on send. All right, so let's just go ahead and follow the instructions now, okay? So let's just highlight the cells over here, and then it says us to go to the Home tab. We are in the Home tab, and uh, click on Conditional Formatting in the Styles group. So we'll go to Styles group, go to Conditional Formatting, and then it says in the fourth step, select Highlight Cell Rules, Highlight Cell Rules, and then Greater Than. Let's click on Greater Than. And in the dialog box that appears, enter 90,000. All right, so let's just click on 90,000. And then in the sixth step, it says choose formatting styles. You can choose from the preset formats or customize your own. So let's just choose a preset format over here. Let me just say, okay, I won't choose uh, maybe green. And then click on uh, okay to apply the formatting. So in this case, uh, we need to click on done. And there you go. You have your formatted pivot table, right? So now it's very easy for me to identify within this pivot table, within this data, what all values are more than 90,000, right? If I were to do with my basic knowledge, I would actually have gone to um, create new rules, but basically these steps which were given by Copilot were much faster and much easier to follow, right? So this is a cool thing about using Excel and Copilot for Microsoft 365 together. And you can do this basically for pivot tables, for conditional formattings, and for a variety of different things, which makes it a very powerful tool rather than going uh, to Google and searching for what you want to do, right? So it basically gives you instructions which are very specific to your use case, which definitely uh, makes it really, really powerful. I hope you like this video. Why don't you go ahead and try it for yourself? We'll meet you in next video. Bye for now.